All right, everyone. Hello. We're here with Brandy from Big Brothers Big Sisters. We're so happy to have you at the radio station today, Brandy. Oh, thanks so much. I'm so glad to be here. So we heard the car wash. Paul's car wash was incredibly successful this week. It was. It was so much fun. So we had five amazing days, 15 hours a day. We washed over 700 cars. We raised a quarter of a million dollars. Oh, my yeah, goodness. That is so Isn't that awesome. amazing? A a I quarter. definitely could have used a car wash. <laughs> <laughs> we were busy at the radio station, but everybody got their car it was just perfect because it was right after the rainstorm mm-hmm. so finally the sun was out and everyone's like i'm ready yeah and it was so nice because your station was out there on thursday yes monica from yeah. the morning show was yeah. Out there, yeah car wash in so the morning so we really fantastic. love it when your station comes out so Thank the you. reason we wanted brandy in here is because there is a desperate need for help for volunteers for big brothers big sisters so i was astonished at the number how many you actually need What's yeah happening? we've got a waiting list of 300 kids that and is- that's insane. It's just amazing. We have 300 kids on our waiting list, and on of those 300 kids, over 200 are boys. So we need some men to step up and be big brothers, be positive role models. So how does one become a volunteer for a big brother? It's pretty easy. They have to be over the age of 18, have lived in the Valley for at least three months, plan on living in the Valley for another six months, can pass a background check, can provide some references, and can sit through an interview, and that's it. And then all they have to do is give two to three hours a month of their time to meet with their little brother or their little sister, and just do the things that they like to do, have fun. Two to three hours. Yeah. Anyone can Nothing. fit that in. Two to three hours an entire month? Yeah, because you think we ask people to meet two times a month for an hour and a half to two hours at a time. So think about it. The time it takes you to go get a pizza, the time it takes you to go to the movies, the time it takes right. you to maybe walk around the park, all the things that you usually do on your regular day, um, you just include your little brother or little sister in those activities. Now, what are the ages of these boys looking for a big brother? So the kids in our program, we start them out at age six. So we start enrolling kids at the age of six, and we take them all the way up to the age of 18. But most of the kids on our waiting list are seven to about 10, 11 years old, because we want to get kids kids right before they go into that adolescent middle mid sure. mid school like kind of you know that age we want to get them then because we want them to have positive role models and start making positive choices before the negative influences come into our life. And think back when you were a teenager and those negative influences that, that were out there. Those are the crazy years. Yeah. Those Good are times. the getting trouble years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And now, you know, we like to say a lot of our kids maybe are just one decision away from making the yeah. wrong decision and going down the wrong path. What are the things, the activities that people do as a big brother or a big sister do you choose them as a volunteer or do you provide activities the volunteer it's all up to the volunteer and the little so we match them based on common interests so one of the things that we do is we interview the little brother or little sister we find out what they like to do then we add, interview the big brother and big sister they we find out what they want to do and we match you with a child that has similar interests so if you like to go out on a saturday and play basketball we match you with a kid who likes sports if you like to go hang out and play video games on the weekend that's the kind of kid we match you with so they pick their activities but we also have this awesome program called think big think big is our partnership with sports teams and local attractions and movie theaters and restaurants and we offer free and discounted admission to programs through think big so let's say you're going to pick your little sister up on sunday at three o'clock you can look at our think big and go wow i could go to this pizza place for 50 percent off or we could go paint pottery for free or look there's tickets to the movies or oh my gosh we can get tickets to the sun's game that's so much to choose from. It's fun for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Why wouldn't you do this? Oh my gosh, the Diamondbacks were so generous this year and they gave us tickets behind home plate. So who gets to go and sit behind home plate at a Diamondbacks game? I've never been. A oh. big brother or a big sister gets to go sit behind home plate. That's really, That's... really, really cool. Yeah, it's cool. How long is the dedication needed? Um, Meaning, can you sign up for a year, six months, or for five years? So we ask for a minimum of a six month commitment. Um, We do notice the biggest difference after one year. There seems to be kind of a magic about that 12-month period where their relationship is really solid. And while we say it's a minimum of a six-month commitment, most of our matches last more than two years. And we have some matches that last the entire time till the kid turns 18 and, and ages out of our program. And then they just keep going. And we hear stories. We just had someone stop by um, who's in his 40s, a man that's in his 40s, his big brother's in his 60s, and he's shared pictures with us. They still keep in touch. That is so cool. And his cool. kids call his so. big brother grandpa. So cute. How cute is that? Yeah, well, you become a mentor to these kids. Yeah. So.
Okay, so if you want to be a volunteer for Big Brother or Big Sister, where do you go? So you go to our website, bbbsaz.org. You click on the volunteer tab. You click on I want to volunteer. You submit your zip code of some contact information, and one of our staff members will be in contact with you and walk you through the process. Fantastic. Do you do background checks on people? We do. We do yeah, background checks, and people have to supply references, and we, we want to make sure that everybody in the relationship is safe and, and you know, that we're providing right. a positive influence. I would think it would be rewarding for not the child alone, but also for the volunteer as well. You know, we hear stories all the time where the volunteers will say, oh, I had more fun than my little brother or little yeah. sister. <laughs> they, all the time. They they will tell you, you can actually talk to someone who's been a volunteer for a while, and it's very hard for them not to get choked up when they talk yeah. about their little brother or little oh, sister. Sure. All the feels. Randy from Big Brothers Big Sisters, thank you so much. We really hope people... Uh, Take some time and think about this and make a choice to volunteer. All right, great. Thanks for having me. You're welcome.